Hey YouTube, I thought I'd make another video, a quick comparison between the uh, 13 rounds and a 45 uh, 1911 and 13 rounds in a 9mm uh, Hellcat. Uh, both of these are good carry weapons, uh, but I'd like to uh, do a quick comparison between the two so we can see what the differences are. All right, first off, I'm going to drop the mags out of both and uh, do some quick measurements. this uh, little tape measure so the 1911 is just short of seven inches from the end of the barrel to the end of the beaver tail and without the magazine loaded from the top of the gun sight to the bottom of the tail is about four and a half inches all right for the Hellcat from the front of the barrel to the tail is about six inches and from the top of the sight down to the bottom of the handle is about four and a quarter well, four and an eighth I'm going to go ahead and put the extended magazine in the Hellcat. And with the extended magazine, 13 rounds, it is 4 and 5 eighths. For the BBR 310, with the extra magazine, extended magazine loaded, from the top of the sight to the bottom of the magazine, is five and an eighth. All right. As far as weight, each round of the forty five is approximately eight tenths of an ounce. And each round of nine millimeters is about four tenths of an ounce. So the nine millimeter weighs about half as much per round as the 45. So the 1911, the BBR 310, uh, with one round loaded in the chamber is two pounds, four tenths of an ounce. Hellcat also with one round in the chamber is one pound six tenths of an ounce so the Hellcat is a little under one pound lighter than the BBR so with the uh, 13 rounds of uh, 45 caliber uh, plus the one round that's in the chamber that is 14 rounds. That gives this gun a weight of 2 pounds, 13.6 ounces. So that's a pretty hefty weight. And for the Hellcat, 13 rounds, one in the chamber, that's 14 rounds total. 
it comes to a weight of one pound uh, 8.6 ounces so both of these weapons are really good carry options the uh, BBR 310 is a much heftier gun to carry around uh, it's going to be thicker it's going to be heavier than the narrower and lighter Hellcat uh, same capacity uh, but you will have a larger bullet weight and more stopping power with the 45 uh, than you will with the uh, 9mm. Um, the 1911 may be a bit easier to conceal with uh, heavier clothes. The uh, Hellcat definitely would be easier concealed uh, in thinner, lighter clothes. Uh, so there's a few options for, for carry. These are two of the options that I have. Um, I do like the 45, the stopping power of the 45 with that extra capacity makes it, it really nice, but it is a load to carry. It's really heavy. Um, the Hellcat is a nice compact option and uh, has a, a, a nice robust capacity, uh, 13 plus 1, and it is a lot lighter and um, a lot easier to conceal. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video and found it informative, uh, please like it. And I will talk to you again, YouTube. Thanks so much.